G'day, so this afternoon I'm going to talk about a subject I don't really know a whole lot about but um, might make a difference to some of you, you might pick something up or you might uh, pick holes in what I'm doing here but either way I'm going to run through it anyway. So I've had a bit of an issue with this trailer. Um, this trailer is very low slung. As you can see it's, it's got no rollers and it sits on bunks and it's very low slung the trailer which is awesome for um you know you don't have to back it further down the, you don't have to back it too far down the ramp for beach launching the boat sits a lot lower sits a lot lower a lot lower center of gravity when you're towing so it's all great but what was going on i'm having some trouble here with my screen here we go no it's not working but what was going on is when i was hooking it up behind uh, my car i mostly tow with this old ranger here um, i've got the triton but if i'm only going on the boat ramp and back there's no point putting my new triton in the water so i just tow with the ranger the old bunkie here the farm vehicle so what was going on is when i was putting it on the back of the car it was sitting down at the front so the front of the trailer was sitting down when it was on the car which wasn't a real big issue but if you can see here this cross member anything lower like speed humps or if you're going um you know up a steep crest and then going over the top a couple of times this scraped actually where it scraped the most was on my driveway there right in front of the triton there's a bit of a hill there so when i was pulling it up there to hose it down and now after i've been out i was coming up and it was scraping and i just didn't like the way it was sitting so the simple solution was is the tow ball tongue basically so this is the tow ball tongue i had on before which sat like that so what i did was this is the spare one turn it upside down as you can see i just turned it upside down and put the ball on and automatically automatically that raised me up by probably 100 mil straight off straight off the bat which pretty much brought the trailer level um, it was ideal and um, just gave me that extra 100 mil clearance and all of this became not a non-event non pretty much also with the boat sitting more level it took the weight because before when it was sitting front down a lot of the weight was riding all on the front set of wheels and the back wheels are sort of um, not doing their share so now with the front of the boat lifted up it's put the balance back on the trailer the trailer sits a lot flatter um, so the tyres are sort of going to wear evenly and it's going to carry the load evenly on the back of the trailer which is probably what you really wanted. So a simple thing like that, just turning the tow ball upside down, gave me 100 mil clearance, jacked the front of the boat up and um, all was good with the world. The only downside I have is my wife tows a horse float around a lot and the horse float sits a lot longer so hence why I've got the spare tongue here. So all I have to do is pull out the, the high one for the boat and put the low one back in and she can tow the horse float and, it, and the horse float sits level as well. So one of the added advantages of swinging this ball up the other way also meant the jockey wheel. So this is a swinging jockey wheel here. Um, obviously you can pull this out. Oh, I don't want to do it because it's sitting on this um, axle weight at the moment. But you can pull this out and swing the jockey wheel so where it was before on the lower setting um, it was right at that wrong height where i couldn't quite get the jockey wheel to swing down on its own it was like that real pain in the ass height where every time i had to get the jockey wheel down i had to literally get under it and um you know like turn the wheels and force it that little bit extra till it clicked in so i could wind the jockey wheel up so by lifting out the extra 100 mil meant the jockey wheel swung down perfectly no problems at all and also this jockey wheel is actually um, adjustable in height as well so i got an extra hole i managed to score an extra hole on the jockey wheel which meant um when the boat's not on the car and i wind the jockey wheel up it actually tilts the boat up a whole lot more which um helps empty out any water or anything else inside the boat so that was an added bonus of flipping the ball weight of flipping the um toe ball up the other way got me an extra haul on the jockey wheel plus the jockey wheel swings down easy and clears the ground not a problem at all and um, made life a whole lot easier so something to keep in mind in your car or your boat if you're ever having that issue it might just be as simple as flipping that over um, it may work for you it might not because it might upset the balance of your car and leading to that um, 
leads into down weights on the trailer. So this trailer is 2300 all up with the boat on it, full tank of fuel, the whole lot. So roughly in Australia, we run roughly 10% of um, down weight on, the, um, on the, the ball. So roughly I should be running around 200, 220 kilos down weight on the ball. On the old Ranger here, not an issue. Um, it must have a stiffer springs, a sort of more agricultural sort of truck. It carried the down weight really well. On the Triton, because it's more set up as a, um, I mean, they market them as a tradesman's ute, whatever else, but let's face it, they're set up as more family car and more road sort of vehicles. And the, the suspension in the back of that is a lot softer. And it really felt the weight of this boat. Um, putting the boat on it, it really lifted the front wheels off the ground that little bit, made the steering really light, just made it feel quite twitchy at 90 to 100 k's on the road. It felt really light in the front end and um, feels like the weight of the boat is really pushing down on it. It tows it no problem, like it's got the power, no worries, stops it no problem, just feels a little light in the steering and a little bit twitchy. Um, turning the ball up, what I did the extra 100 mil, actually threw the weight back on the axles here, leveled out the axles and made the boat ride a whole lot better, which also helped with the down weight on the ball, made it just feel a lot better on the car. But interestingly enough, I've just put a set of scales on the ball here, and we're only weighing in at 130 kilos down weight on this. Um, I was quite surprised with that. I was expecting it to be a whole lot more. 130 kilos is pretty light on. But bear in mind the fuel tank's not in this boat at the moment and that's 300 litres which could potentially be 300 kilos. Although the fuel tank does sit, um, runs from pretty much here to the back there. So the fuel tank does pretty much sit balanced across the axles. So I don't know how much difference it's going to make. But I won't be making any alterations or changing anything until I get the fuel tank in there and actually get a... a accurate weight of the of the down weight with the fuel tank in if i find i need to adjust it at all it's really quite simple there's four u-bolts like this on the on the um trailer obviously you'd loosen those off push the boat off the trailer and then probably just use the winch to winch the whole lot forward or push it backwards if you wanted to and um you could sort of adjust the balance of the trailer to suit but i won't be making any drastic changes like that until i get a solid measurement with the fuel tank and everything in there So a small thing like that made quite a big difference for me and it might work for you too. Bear in mind, every car's different, every boat's different, every trailer's different, um, every combination's different. You've got to stay within the bounds of what um, is going to be best for your car, what's going to be beneficial, what's going to be safe and um, what's going to make it ride the best. Out of interest, I just weighed the snaps as well and that is um, pretty much exactly on the ball, 135 kilos um, downward on the ball on that as well, which was um, quite interesting too. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll probably update you guys. When I get the fuel tank back in, I'll weigh it again and update you. And um, if I'm going to make any, if I do make the decision to um, move the axles, it'll only be probably an inch at a time, most likely forwards to um, maybe bring a little bit of weight off for how I ride on the Triton. But if I do decide to do that, I'll um, certainly let you guys know about it and um, let you know the outcome. If I don't like it, I'll push it back. All it's gonna take is a, a black mark with a pen on there so you know exactly how far you moved it, how far to push it back. So it's not a big deal. Um, you know, move it, change it, drop it around, take it around the block, see how she rides. If you don't like it, push it back. But I'll let you guys know the outcome of that. Um, the Boomeranker. Boomeranker contest is still on. I'm going to keep it running until the 1st of March. I'll do the draw on the 1st of March. So if you want it in on the Boom Ranker comp, uh, look back a few videos to the Boom Ranker video. All the details on how to enter the comp are on the last video. Um, you need to comment on that video why you want one of these anchors. Jump on the Boom Ranker's Facebook page. Comment Salt Fix on the latest post. And um, you're in the draw to win a brand new Boom Ranker. Um, I've spoken about these at length in the last video. If you didn't catch that, check that out. The advantage of these anchors. Um, I really like it. I'm pretty taken with it. And if you watch some of the videos on the Boomer Anchor website, you'll see it in action and um, 
Duncan from Boomer actually explains some of the development and some of the research that went into building these things and why they are the way they are and why they work the way they work. Anyway, that's it for me. I've dribbled on enough today about stuff I don't know about. But if you like the videos, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.